We're going to go ahead and take you to Longview right now, and it's a Bluebird Day. It doesn't matter if you're in Brownsboro or you're in Longview. It's a Bluebird Day, and those temperatures are skyrocketing right now. We've got temps that are generally in the 50s and 60s, and we're going to continue to warm up. For today's forecast, I do expect our high right around that 70 degree mark. Now, it's been a few days since we had 70. I promise you it's going to be beautiful, and I want everybody to get outside kind of like uh, what we're seeing in Brownsboro. And then tonight, it will get chilly again. I do think at least for the first part of the night, we're going to see mostly clear skies, but we're down to about 43, so not quite as cold as what we saw this morning. But looking at satellite and radar now, you notice that cold front. It's off to our north and to our west, but since it is a Lone Star State, Tech, the state of Texas is huge, so it's going to take a while for the cold front to get here, but that will be arriving by tomorrow morning, and as a result, it is going to get cold tomorrow. That's right. Cold temperatures are on the way for your Friday. All that blue means well below normal temperatures, which, by the way, are in the upper 60s for this time of year. In the meantime, now this is going to be very interesting. Uh, the next weather system that's arriving as well and it will be giving us a chance of rain now further off to the north and to the northwest we are going to see uh, the possibility of a little bit of a wintry mix so i kind of want to walk you through futurecast and here's the setup first off tonight not a lot of clouds around and this afternoon it's going to be pretty nice temperatures as i mentioned are going to be in the 70 but as we head into the overnight hours to about seven o'clock tomorrow morning that's when we start to see the clouds the front's still off to our northwest advancing it in time now to tomorrow afternoon that's when we could start to see those temperatures fall and that's because we're gonna have a lot of dry air and it's gonna require some cooling for that rain to hit the surface so off to our northwest you see those little areas of pinks and blues that's where we could have that change over to a little bit of a wintry mix and then advancing it beyond that uh, we're chatting about the potential of um, warmer temperatures as we head into your Saturday. So if anything does happen, we aren't going to see any sort of accumulation. And it's not going to mount out to much. But here's just a map of what we're looking at. Friday afternoon and evening, we're dealing with that wintry mix to the northwest. That would include Tyler and Gilmer, Sulphur Springs, Mineola as well. And then chilly rain for deep east Texas because frankly I just don't believe it's going to be cold enough for that. Futurecast rain amounts this is what we're talking about maybe up to a quarter of an inch for deep east Texas to a few hundredths of an inch for some of our central and northern counties and as we look at that seven day forecast well we're at about 70 degrees for today so enjoy that while it lasts because the bottom falls out on Friday we got more sunshine Saturday and Sunday and then additional rain chances on Monday. So once again, I'm here in Brownsboro. It's beautiful and Lauren, you should get outside at some point today because it kind of feels like Florida weather out here, Lauren. Well, you know, I love that. I'm from Florida.